Hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a shit one. Today we're going to be testing out this. It's the 100 to 400 F5 to F6.3 from Sigma. Look how far this thing zooms out. Look at that! This lens is specifically designed for mirrorless cameras, and I'm pretty sure they're only going to be releasing in the Sony mounts when they first release the lens. That's not to say that more lens mounts may be available in the future, but I don't know, that's that's up, that's up not up to me. And if you notice here on the front, I've just got a 67 mil, that's the lens diameter. It's a 67 mil circular polarizer from Hoya, and that's just because we're shooting cars today. So I just wanna be able to cut through all the glass reflections. But anyway, the actual design of the lens is really nice. It's really sturdy as well. Feels like a really sort of premium quality. And it's incredible. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. The lens is incredibly light due to it being made out of magnesium. Not the whole thing, but it does have magnesium, obviously, inside of it, which makes it really light. Which you need that, obviously, for mirrorless cameras because you don't want to be putting too much stress on the ring here. And I'm pretty sure you can also buy this lens with a tripod mount as well. This one doesn't have one. Uh, they gave me the one without a tripod mount, but I'm pretty sure you can get that as an option. I don't really want to stand here in my room and talk shit. I kind of just want to take the lens out and see what it's capable of. Also, make sure you watch to the end of this video to find out how you can win this 50 mil. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Let's get our high-vis vests on. Make sure we look official. It's one for you. Thank you. And that's one for you. And... That's all I have. I've got a red jacket on. I think as long as there's one high-vis, it looks legit. Hopefully we shouldn't run into much trouble tonight, but that's why we have the boys in the high-vis here, to make us look a little bit more legitimate. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like an F1 car. That has, Did you hear that? that? Has to be it. There's nothing else in Melbourne that sounds like that. That <laughs> is insane. Oh. Far out. Check this thing out. <laughs> oh my god. How's it going, mate? I, fuck, I felt like a. A mouse in a rat race. I was going all over the place. Oh yeah, it's kind of a weird street to find, isn't it? <laughs> hey, nice to meet you, man. Hey, 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 how are you? Nice to meet you, man. Hey, buddy. you getting off the freeway and everything? Oh, I think I was fucking. I, I don't know where I'm going. I'm all over the place. <laughs> I'm just following Google Maps. Yeah. So I think we'll try and take a few photos here. I'll try and center the car just in the middle of the road here, and then I'll set the ladder up a bit further away. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll. Just, I think we'll just start with like maybe a, just a front-on shot, yeah, which perfect. could be good. <laughs> Let's get this ladder. <laughs> How's it going, man? Good day, how are you? Good, thanks. Um, this isn't a place to do photo shoots, guys. Okay, oh, okay. we'll leave now. We tried to be cool and fly, and it just didn't work at all. I think we should just be quick, bro. Yeah. Don't, like, abuse it. I reckon the other spot would be better because it's, like, more of a straight road. Yeah. But we tried. Okay, so we've come to this part of the docks. It's way more quiet than that last spot. Usually that last spot I always get kicked out, but I just wanted to try it anyway. But I've shot a fair few cars here and never really had any issues. So we're gonna try again, I guess. <laughs> kind of interested to see how the quality's gonna look later in editing around the 200 to 400 mil mark. Anyway, let's take some photos. I'm at 250 mil and the photos are awesome. The compression's so sick. I don't think we're back far enough. I'm only using half the lens and I'm already zoomed in too much. So I think we need to get like twice as far away from the car. This is how far away we have to be from the subject to shoot at 400 mil. this lens I'm shooting at about 250 mil 
My lowest aperture is f6.3, which means I have to have a high ISO and a high shutter speed to compensate for the high aperture. And because of the length of this lens, I have to keep it really still because the slightest amount of movement will change the image heaps. So I'm gonna try and use my leg as like a little tripod to keep my image still. that I shot this was probably not ideal for the lens. The lens was struggling a little bit and that's just due to the aperture. It's a variable aperture lens and the lowest aperture it can take is f5 at 100. And you can see that at f6.3, there's a little bit of blur in the background, but it's not a great depth. And then you come over to 200, we can see that it gets a bit more flat. There's a bit more depth that comes into the image here. And then at 300 mil, there's a lot more. And then at 400 mil, we do start to get a bit of a background to foreground difference with the lens. So I mainly shot most of the photos from this shoot between 250 to 400 mil, just because you get like a really nice compressed background. Because I stood so far away, when I zoomed into 400 to the subject, it just compresses everything from the background and the foreground and it just squishes it. So that's why you get like a really nice sort of depth in the background and then you get sort of just the subject and it's really flat and it looks really professional compared to 100 mil over here where it just kind of like looks like an iPhone shot to be honest. Kind of looks like I'm standing like right near the car but even at 100 mil you have to be really far back so it's kind of hard to show you how far back you need to stand to shoot a car in frame like this at 400 mil. But you can see when we zoom in here you can start to see, like if I bring the shadows up a little bit, it obviously didn't take any of the shadows in, so I'm not gonna be able to revive any of those. And that's just because I had to shoot at 5,000 ISO to shoot at 400 mil. Because the lens is so zoomed in, not that much light can get led into the camera. So I have to boost the light sensitivity, which is your ISO, to be able to sort of just artificially make that in inside the camera. So most of these photos, you know, if you want to crop and sort of zoom in a lot, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but I also wouldn't recommend shooting at nighttime with this lens, unless you had a tripod. So you can really sort of tailor your shot to how you want it. On the lens, there's no actual tripod mount. It is an option you can get for the lens. So I wish this one came with that so I could show a bit more of what it can do at nighttime. I mean, the photos look great from a distance and to post to Instagram, they'll be fine. But if you're doing, if I was doing like client work, I probably would have tried to put it on a tripod to make sure that was less grain in the image. But these photos are just for a friend, Simon. He just came down for the video. So quick shout out to Simon. You can go check him out, Bulls of Steel on Instagram. Thanks to Simon for bringing his car out for this shoot. Heaps of fun, sounds insane. But let's have a look at some of the other photos here. I did manage to get quite a bit of bokeh in the background and that's just because the background was so far away where these lights are and my subject was so close in the foreground that I actually got a pretty decent amount of bokeh for f6.3. This one, ISO 2000, 160th of a second, f6.3, but you can see just like the other photos, you probably just don't want to zoom in. Just don't zoom in basically. <laughs> but my favorite shot from the whole shoot would have to be this one. This just says Lamborghini to me. Like this shot. This shot, I think this shot really encapsulates the car. But I'll show you how I got to something like this. It wasn't too hard to edit. So this is what it actually looked like on import. And then I cropped it and made sure I was happy with the alignment. I think I did a bit more because it's still on an, on an angle here in my eyes. And then I added the preset Storm. This preset 
comes in my V2 pack from streamline.store. It's linked down in my description, but that pack comes with 25 presets, 25 walkthrough tutorials, and then also tutorials about Lightroom and how to use the basics and tone curve and all different kinds of tutorials, plus raw files. So if you wanna get those presets, they're linked in my description there for you to go download them and do whatever the fuck with. <laughs> I then shifted some of the orange saturation and luminance, same with the colds as well, um, to get something a bit more warmer. And then I added a graduated filter from the top and then decreased the exposure. But as you can see on the roof of the car here, it ruined sort of the paint and made all the paint underexposed. So I got my brush tool and just went over the car and the paint and the windscreen until I got something I was happy with like this. So like I said, I was basically shooting at 250 to 400 mil for most of the shoot. So like this one as well, this, this one was shot at 250 mil. This one was at 400 mil up on the ladder. I think this one, this one's at 280 mil as well. And this one at 250. Anyway, my overall thoughts of the lens, if you're looking to get into a, you know, telephoto lenses or get like a really decent beefy zoom lens, I think they said it was gonna retail for $1,400 Australian, which is about 900 to 1,000 US. And I think that's really good value for the performance of this lens. Like I said, F5 to F6.3 is not ideal, but you gotta remember that if you're gonna have something like F4 and F2.8, the reason why they're so expensive is because of the amount of glass they need to cram into that lens. The amount of glass and how much it weighs, I mean, it doesn't weigh anything. It weighs less than a 24 to 70 or a 35 mil because of its magnesium body, and it has to be able to fit onto mirrorless cameras. Anyway, it's giveaway time. If you wanna win this 50 mil F1.4 from Sigma, all you have to do is follow Sigma Australia on Instagram and comment below on this video in the comment section, your camera mount. And then I at random will just put all the comments into a random number generator and pick a winner from there. If you've got any more questions for me, if you've got any feedback or if you wanna hate this video, if you didn't like this video, if you love this video, if you didn't feel anything about this video, maybe you're just clicking around and you just watched a random video for 10 minutes and I just, wasted heaps of your time, whatever. However you feel, comment it down below. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, I can't say that. Whatever, I actually don't care. If you did like this video, leave a like down below or help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, I will see you in the next one. Have a shit one. I wish I had more things to say, but I don't. See you later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's all try and whistle it, ready? <laughs> what?